Welcome to another day of vlogmas. So today I woke up and I am really, really, really anxious. Like really, really anxious. I kept trying to like go back to sleep in this morning so that I didn't have to deal with my anxiety and I didn't have to wake up and like face it. So I'm also anxious because I woke up late and then I'm also just like anxious in general. So. I am trying to get myself out of it. I'm going to do my makeup so that I feel a little bit presentable. I'm happy because my flu is kind of over now. It's like there's just like the tiniest remnants of what was, but it's pretty much over, so that's really nice. But yeah, so I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I think I might maybe go to a cafe and like get some editing done or something like that, I'm not really sure, but you will be here with me along on this ride. So I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender because I always forget to do that. This is why I need to live with like my boyfriend so that I can make him go and wet my beauty blender. Although I wonder if he knows how to properly wet a beauty blender. There is a way, a proper way to wet a beauty blender. I'm gonna go and wet my beauty blender. <laughs> how many times can I say beauty blender in one clip? Makeup. I just wanted to show you my lip combo really quickly because I'm obsessed with it. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner and then this Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss. This is what it looks like and it is in the shade Kimberly and that's truthfully the only reason I bought it. I literally only bought it because the lip gloss was named after me but I do like it and it tastes, it tastes, it doesn't taste like anything, but it smells, first of all, it smells like a caramel macchiato, that's a bonus. Um, and then it's not like plumping, like stinging, but it's more like a minty, fresh feeling, if you know what I mean. So I'm loving that. I am, I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to try and just do things that make me feel less stressed and like less anxious. I'm not necessarily like anxious about anything in particular and I'm not stressed out about like a workload or anything like that I think I'm just like very socially anxious sometimes and I feel like when I post anything I'm like oh my gosh the way that I'm being perceived I feel like I'm being judged and I need to like get over that like I need to build confidence against that so I think I'm just really anxious because of that because I posted my YouTube video to my Instagram and so that was a little bit nerve-wracking but today I think I just want to dedicate the day to try and do things that make me feel better. I think I'm just gonna like leave my house. I love to chill in my car. I love going to like a wooded area or a park and like sitting in my car and listening to music and journaling and reading and drinking coffee or having like some, you know, some lunch. That's always really relaxing to me. Maybe I'll go buy a body of water because being by water is also really relaxing to me and then um, and then yeah, and then like get some work done, but I've also noticed that I've been like slacking a little bit with my habits um, Meditation and walking outside in particular. I lost my airpods the other day So I don't have like headphones to use when I go on my hot girl walk or when I meditate and usually I use my airpods for both 
so i think that's like been an excuse for me to be like well i don't have my airpods so i can't do either but i'm gonna try and see if i can find an old pair of headphones or borrow my brothers or something my mom said she has an extra pair of airpods that she doesn't use so she's gonna give that to me i just don't know if they're with her right now at work or if they're at home if they're at home then that's perfect i can take those if not then i'll try and find something else and then i'm gonna try and like do a little quick meditation right now um and then when we leave and we go to like the park and stuff i'll also bundle up so that i can do like a quick little walk and then we can do some stuff in the car like journaling and reading which are also really great for anxiety but yeah so i think that's like my first tip is if you're having a really anxious day ask yourself if you've been neglecting your self-care and that's like more than just you know like self-care in the sense of taking some time to do a face mask or a bubble bath but self-care is in like those habits that you've worked for you know are you doing the meditations are you doing the workouts are you you know going outside and getting the fresh air that you need every single day or the 10,000 steps a day that you are setting out to achieve are you reading the books that you know make you feel good are you journaling it out and trying to put down on paper what might be jumbled up in your mind and causing you the anxiety are you putting in that you know effort to be able to mitigate the symptoms of anxiety and obviously when you're anxious or when your mental health is really bad sometimes it's really hard to do any of those things what I try to do is I will try and zero in on one. So I'm like, okay, which one of these do I have the energy to do right now? And which can I do in just like five minutes of my day? Five minutes of your day is like such a minuscule percentage of the like 16 hours a day that you're awake, say if you sleep eight hours. So you can do five minutes or even 10 minutes, a quick five to 10 minute meditation, even if it's a really bad meditation even if you can't focus on the meditation just trying your best to do stuff that is really really good for you is going to help and then also staying off social media i feel like is a big one because when you're on social media you're just constantly comparing and you're constantly thinking about how you're behind and how other people are ahead or how other people might be judging you etc so Staying off social media also helps. But anyways, before I do my meditation, my mom made those cinnamon rolls I bought the other day. So I'm going to go and devour one and I'll be right back. So I took my brother's airpods and I'm going to use those right now to meditate really quick. Those cinnamon rolls were fire by the way. 10 10. Um, yeah, so let me meditate. I really do need to like take some deep breaths because I can tell that my breathing is very shallow and I'm getting out of breath very quickly. So I think this will help just like you know, like take a deep breath with me, okay? One, two, three. <sighs> Unclench your jaw. Remove the, your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Just like let your face relax, all the tension in your forehead and your eyes. Just take a deep breath. I feel like Sometimes we all need that little reminder because we forget to do the one thing that we're supposed to be good at. Breathe. That's, that's all we need to do to, to live. And sometimes we just forget to like properly breathe. Anywho, speaking of breathing, I'm going to go meditate. I don't know if I should do a guided meditation or if I should like meditate to Hertz music. Okay, I'm going to do this cute little guided loving kindness medication for social anxiety. And that's what it's, whoop, that is not what it looked up, the ad. That's basically what it looks like. So yeah, see how this one goes. I also meditate lying down because I don't like meditating, sitting up. This is gonna look super weird. Do it with me. <laughs>
This helps me concentrate. I'm done my meditation and it was really nice. I really like the idea of loving kindness, especially just in relation to like loving kindness towards yourself, loving kindness towards others, loving kindness towards the world and to strangers. Love is infinite and we can make up as much of it as we want. So I just feel like it's a solution to so many problems in the world. But anyways, I going back to what I said earlier about checking in with your habits when you feel anxious to see if you've been doing them, I just checked my habit tracker, which I use a habit tracker on my phone now. I have an app. I'll show it to you guys. I think it's literally called Habit. And this is what it looks like. This is what mine looks like. You can see that. So I have like journaling, reading, nature, 8,000 steps a day, wake up at 8 a.m., eat fruit. This is just like brushing and flossing at night because sometimes I don't floss. And then um, meditation. And so I have like certain habit goals. Like some of them I have like four times a week. Some of them I have every single day. And I was looking through this week. It's Friday today. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I did nothing. I didn't do a single habit this whole week. I haven't gone outside and I guess yeah Like I mean I was really sick in the beginning of the week, so I guess it makes sense, but like I haven't like gone outside. I haven't read actually I think I might have read one of those days. I can't remember which though But yeah, I haven't read I haven't Gotten like 8,000 steps like the most I've gotten this whole week is like Probably like 3,000, 2 to 3,000 maybe. Um, yeah, so that's something that is super important because clearly there's a reason why I'm feeling so anxious. It's because I'm not keeping up with any of these habits. And I know that on weeks where I do, you know, try to keep up with all these habits every day, I feel so much better. So I played myself and I feel like sometimes I'm my worst enemy and I really be doing it to myself. So that was just a small little tidbit and a fun fact for you. But now I'm going to go and change and then let's head out to get a, go on a little car ride. Okay, so I just put together this quick little outfit. I just have on this top that I thrifted. It's I guess it's from Florida originally. But I just like the color and then I have on this brown jacket from Princess Polly and just leggings on underneath from Lululemon. So that is my fit for today and I am just waiting for my camera battery to charge, my second camera battery because I think when I go to the park I am just going to film my Spotify wrapped video because that is another vlogmas video that's gonna head your way soon so i thought since i have the time today i might as well go and film it but i'm gonna pack all my stuff i'm gonna pack a book a journal my computer and probably my agenda just in case i decide to go to a cafe after i film so that i can get some editing done for the next vlogmas video that's going to come out so I'm going to pack up everything and then we'll head out and I think I'm going to get some starbs because what is a Spotify rap video without a little bit of starbs? Okay, so I just pulled up to Subway and I'm going to grab myself a sandwich for lunch and then Starbucks is right next door so I'll grab my coffee and then I will head over to a park to eat and then do my Spotify wrap. Hi, how are you? Can we Oh, sure. I mean, why not? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Perfect, it's on the app, please. Thank you. Perfect. Amazing. Thank you, I'll see you, bye.
Well, I got a free caramel macchiato that I, I guess, I don't know if they were training somebody or if they made it, um, like they made the wrong drink for somebody, I don't know, but I got a free caramel macchiato. So that is always really sick and really fun. So hey, look at that, good luck today. And I got my Subway, my turkey on Italian bread foot long, and I'm just leaving the parking lot now to head towards the park. So I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, so I have my Starbucks. I just got a grande iced sugar cookie oat latte, and you can kind of see that there are like the little sprinkles on it. Super cute, super festive. I it's so funny because I'm wearing my brother's beanie right now and I also took his airpods so I'm just you really think you escape when you don't have a sibling that is you know the same gender as you like two sisters stealing each other's stuff or two brothers stealing each other's stuff but you really don't you never escape if you have a sister your sister will take your stuff no matter who you are that is that so I'm at the park right now I'm just gonna kick my shoes off and sit more comfortably I love doing this. I don't know why, but being in my car and just like vibing alone with like my food and my, you know, whatever, like book or journal or whatever I bring or even just like my phone and some good music, like, oh, I just feel so like comfy and cozy and it just like makes my anxiety feel so much better. Like, I guess it makes me feel like I'm like the only person in the world in that moment. So I'm not really thinking about like everything else or everybody else. I'm just kind of thinking about me and it kind of is nice. So if you can, if you have a car, if you're able to, you know, or if you're able to borrow like your parents' car, somebody's car, just like try and go on a drive and then find like a really secluded spot where it's kind of just you. And you know, there's like a little bit of a scenic element to it where you can look out and it's kind of pretty. Yeah, just something like that, and then just like vibe out. Get a coffee. In my case, get some food, which I'm going to eat right now. My Subway, I'm so happy right now. And then yeah, just just vibe. It's it's amazing. I'm back home now and I just have this cute little beanie on still because I'm actually just like digging the way that my hair looks with it on. It's my brother's but I got it for him, for him from Banff so it's mine is yours. Um, I finished filming my Spotify wrapped but both of my camera batteries died before I finished the complete 100 songs so I had eight songs left. I only had eight songs left and I had to hold on for eight more songs but it's fine, I'm just gonna go and film that later. Maybe tomorrow, maybe another day, just before I need to post it. So yeah, so I did that, but it was actually just so nice, like sitting in my car and eating and having like my iced coffee and just listening to all my favorite songs from this year. I feel like it was so relaxing and it just like, I don't know, it completely increased my vibration today and it made me feel so much better than I did in the, in the morning. Like, I feel so much less anxious than I felt this morning. This morning I felt so anxious that it was just paralyzing. Like I didn't even want to leave my bed. I kept trying to make myself fall back asleep every time I would wake up in the morning because I didn't want to face the day. I didn't want to face anxiety which is crazy, so it did make me feel a lot better, but unfortunately, the Spotify wrapped playlist video always takes so much longer than I anticipate, so it got dark really, really fast, and by the time that my camera batteries died, it was so dark that I couldn't go out for a walk anymore because that would be dangerous, so I didn't get to go on a walk today, but tomorrow I'm seeing my friend Chloe, so I hope that tomorrow I'll be able to basically go on a walk with her and we'll be able to do all the hot girl things in Toronto so that's gonna be really fun stay tuned for that vlog but yeah so otherwise I am feeling better I'm probably gonna start editing a little bit it's 5 30 right now I'm just gonna finish my iced coffee maybe edit and then also just like relax a little bit chill out today was a fun day and I really am grateful for the fact that it kind of turned around and I was able to 
use coping mechanisms that I've built up and habits that I've built up to make myself feel better and then also like talking to my friends texting my loved ones my friends my boyfriend and just making you know myself feel better through them like it, it's just nice to know that you have people that are there for you and that love you and reminding yourself of that makes you feel a lot less anxious just because especially with social anxiety you're like well even though i'm socially anxious about random people and strangers and them judging me it's like but i have so many people that do love me so maybe those people don't actually matter in general you know so that really helped as well so i'm gonna go and probably watch some vlogmas videos myself and then edit and then after that i will see where the night takes me i might take a bath or i might see matthew we'll see we'll see because that's the best way to decompress. You're on your own kid is just playing in the background, don't mind. My Midnight's album playing in the background. But yeah, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm so tired all of a sudden and I think, I think the day is catching up to me now. So another tip is in the beginning I said, you know, you gotta focus on your habits. It's not just the face masks and baths, but a good face mask and bubble bath can really help you physically relax and decompress and it's one of my favorite things to do in general not just when i'm feeling anxious but feels like tonight is the night for that so let's just go ahead and do that okay i'm using the summer fridays overtime mask it's the exfoliating mask and it has pumpkin enzyme in it and it smells like cinnamon and it's amazing. It's such a good exfoliator and I just need it because I have some scarring and it's all flat, but a good exfoliation I think is what I need right now. I'm just gonna exfoliate it in for 30 seconds on each part of my face, 30 seconds on this cheek, this cheek, forehead, nose and chin wanted to say good night and end off this vlog i just watched a christmas movie i watched falling for christmas the lindsay lohan movie that i put on my christmas watch list if you didn't see vlogmas day two i'll have it up above but it was okay like it wasn't my favorite i was kind of bored to be honest it just felt like a typical cheesy hallmark movie so it was nothing special but still fun and you know lindsay's great so it's cool to watch but yeah, overall I feel a little bit better. Obviously like not 100% anxiety free, but I feel like everything that I did today, self-care and some habits and talking to my friends um, really helped. I think I could have stayed off social media a little bit more, but because it's Vlogmas, I've been trying to be on top of my social media game, so it's kind of hard to balance, but you know, 
it's a give and take but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it made you feel better if you are going through anxiety or anything similar if you are just know that you're loved and that your anxiety is lying to you and that you are beautiful and smart and talented yeah i hope you guys again like this video if you did please subscribe so you don't miss any vlogmas content that's coming your way and i'll catch you on my next one bye